Hello, my name is Andre, and today I will show you how to install MySQL and do some basic configurations on Mac OS X. You have to go to mysql.com website, then click on download, community, then MySQL community server, and choose the version which corresponds to your system. Don't worry if you have a Mac OS X 10.10 .10, like me, simply download the 10.9 version and you will be fine. When you have downloaded the file, open it and double click the file. Now we will go through a basic installation. Click continue twice. Read the software license agreement if you have the time. Then agree to the terms and click on install. After you enter it your password, the installation should start. Then finish the installation by clicking on close. Once the installation is finished, open your system preferences and start the MySQL server by clicking on the MySQL symbol and then start. Or do it with the terminal by typing the following command. Now I will show you the slash usr slash local slash mysql folder. There you see the my.cnf configuration file where you can configure the mysql server. Now we will log in into MySQL server by typing the following command. Like you can see the prompt is boring. Let it make more useful by typing prompt, follow it by what it should look like. Here you see a couple of the options you have. For example, add a slash u for username, a slash h to display default host, and a capital D to show the day and the time in your prompt. Now I will show you how to create and delete a MySQL database. You can quickly check what databases are available by typing show databases and a semicolon. All MySQL commands ends with a semicolon. To create a database you have to Type create database and then the name of the database. In MySQL, the phrase most often used to delete objects is drop. You can delete a database by typing drop database and then the name of the database. Now I will create a new database to show you how to create a table in your database. Let's open up the database we want to use with the use command. Let's create a new MySQL table. This command accomplishes a number of things. It has created a table called demo table. We have set up three columns in the table, ID, name and date. The id column has a command int not null primary key auto increment that automatically numbers each row. The name column has been limited by the varchar command to be under 20 characters long. And the date column is a date. To delete a table, you have to type drop table and the name of the table. Now you know how to install MySQL Server, configure it, create and delete databases and tables. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.